Hi, welcome to Click Geek, part 16 of Cliff View Developer. In this session, we are going to look at how synthetic keys will be formed and how to resolve the synthetic keys. Does really synthetic keys will harm the Click View data model? And then we'll look at the circular references. Let's quickly jump into Click View Desktop. So I'm going to load two tables. So we'll have a city and this company, city and state. And then I'm, I'll be loading one more table, which has state city. It's a state and a city uh, along with. So only, yes, let's reload it. So here you can see when ClickView has loaded two tables, so it has created a synthetic key table with the combination of state and city. Let's quickly jump into ClickView tab table viewer, control T, then you can see. So ClickView will create an associative relation in between two or multiple tables with one field so each table should be reached through one path only whenever it finds multiple paths it will turn into different scenario if two click view tables are linked with more than one field then it will create a composite key with a separate table which is called as sync table so synthetic table so here the sheet one has state and city and sheet one one has state and city in common so in this case so click view will create another table with a sync key synthetic key which is nothing but a composite key and then it will be in it will form a relation in between so this will work fine if the data set is very small so if the data set is very larger then to form the click view or to create the composite key with the all available combination click view will consume more computational resources so that is what the actual problem is so whenever it is being i mean it is creating the composite key so it may create the false composite keys so in that case also, we can't expect accurate results in the front end. So it is always better to avoid synthetic keys. So how to avoid synthetic keys? There are multiple ways to avoid synthetic keys. One is by removing the unnecessary fields. So let's go there here. We'll see what is unnecessary field. So, so assume this sheet one is a fact table and the sheet one one is a dimension table. So here the sheet one has a city and here we have a city. So in sheet one one it is not required. I mean in dimension table. Let's take this as a dimension table and this as a fact table. So in this case we don't need city here because we have the city available in the fact table itself means we are removing the city field from the second table so now you can see this is a clear model so this is one way just removing the field another way is renaming the field use aliasing for renaming in this case so it is city let's make it as dim underscore city so in this case also we are not getting any synthetic case so this is another way of resolving the synthetic key so and the other one is 
create creating composite keys so how to create a composite key so here we have a state and city here also we have a state and city so in that case create a composite key so with a state and city state and city and as percentage key so i am adding percentage key it is a naming convention so here also same way so let's copy this and paste it here all right so we don't need state and city here we just need only so we have a key and the country as a fields so here we are creating composite key with the combination of two fields so if we reload we won't get any type of uh, synthetic keys let's go there in that case also you can find a clean data model right and the other one is qualify so what is this qualify is you can rename the field with the table name appended to it so that is what qualify will do so qualify statement will append table name to a field which you are specifying so let's remove this keys and here as well and uncomment these two control k u so here we are missing load statement so and then city so in this case because of the city it is forming the uh, synthetic keys let's qualify that so for that keyword is qualify and you have to specify the field name here CT and then you need to apply a semicolon because every statement will be terminated by a semicolon so let's reload it so if you go to the table view that you can see here it's dim dot CT so it has appended so the table name to the field name so this is how you can uh, resolve the synthetic keys and be careful while uh, resolving the synthetic keys because you have to resolve the synthetic keys without losing the data right so uh, resolving the synthetic keys so let's look at information density and uh, subset ratio so that you can uh, compare the data integrity okay so now let's see how circular uh, reference will get formed so circular reference is also a scenario in click view so that will create a confusion to the click associate engine to reach a particular path let's take table a so it has a field assume load star in line it has fields a b and c okay so let's go one three as data and uh, so create another table called b and it has fields b So now you can see one or more loops have been detected in your database structure. Loops may cause ambiguous results and should therefore be avoided. Click view, cut the loops by setting one or more tables as loosely coupled. Settings for loosely coupled tables can be modified after skips execution in the table space 
of the document properties dialog so let's see the table structure then we'll see how the circular references can be handled so in this case so we can reach table c from table a or from table b means to reach a particular table we have two different paths so in that case click you will get confused or else click you associative engine will, uh, i mean uh, get into ambiguous ambiguity situation so how to resolve this so to resolve this you can either remove a field or else you can concatenate two tables or else you can join two tables or else if you wish to continue like this so you can go to settings document properties under tables so select a table which you want to make it as loosely coupled so select on this one apply so then automatically click you will ignores and makes one table loosely coupled so that it will works fine okay but loosely coupling is not recommended so you either go for removing a field or else rename the table i mean rename the fields or else concatenate or else do join so these are the recommended ways of handling the circular references so that's all for this session thanks for watching the video please subscribe